mud, motor, mania. mania. Hello, I want to take a little bit of your time today to talk about uh, long tail mud motors. And uh, I'm really new to this, but uh, I had some help on the boat design form and uh, we're getting ready to uh, put one in the water here shortly. First thing I want to talk to you about is the, the motor I chose for this particular uh, build. Uh, I bought a Honda four stroke. It's a GS35 NTS3. They make two versions of this motor. This particular one has the, the, the fill cap that comes out the top and it's uh, your general pump or standard pump configuration. They also make one that you would use on a tiller that has the, the, the filler coming out this way if the motor was going to be in a vertical position. But the, the NTS3 version is what you need for, for a, a long tail uh, mud motor. The next item I want to tell you about is the um, clutch housing. When you buy the engine, it comes with the clutch shoes but you'll need some type of housing to adapt your one inch drive tube to. And uh, this uh, is available, uh, it's easily to purchase on the internet. It costs about uh, $35, $40 for this adapter. The motor is uh, roughly about uh, $240 shipped. So you've got, uh, that's what you have in the, the combination there of the, of the um, clutch housing and the motor. And then from there on out, it's, um, this is a piece of um, one inch um, aluminum tubing. It has one eighth inch wall thickness, okay? And if you'll notice, there are three different areas here. This would be the first one. And then in the center, there's another one here. And then down at the very end, there's a third one. And what we did, we uh, got uh, all light bushings, and those were cross-drilled to allow the uh, grease fittings to fit in there, and uh, it also maintains them inside the, the tube. On the bottom end, there are two uh, seals that go in there, and the shaft, the inner shaft that actually uh, uh, works the propeller is a 304L stainless and the prop on there is a Young's prop it's a T10 prop the one we're going to try first to see how this uh, uh, pushes. The next thing I want to show you is that on the bottom of this um, aluminum tube we uh, welded a skag on down here and also at the top we welded a little plate here and this plate actually has two quarter 20 holes tapped in the top of it. And you could put a anti-cavitation plate on there or, or whatever the proper name is for that. And uh, that's those two items. The next thing I'd like to discuss is on the Honda GX35 engine, when you buy it, you do not get the cable. You do not get this adjusting thing with the two nuts on it. What I did was take a piece of um, a quarter 20 bolt that was already threaded and I drilled the center out where the little lead plug that, uh, that attaches to your throttle arm up here would go through there. And then I put the two nuts on there for adjustment. I also made this little adapter that would um, fit onto the quarter 20 bolt and also allow the cable to go in there and have an alignment. And uh, the next thing I did was get a, a a cable that was for a Shindawa trimmer and we'll show you the part number of that cable if you're interested. And 
The next thing we have here is a bracket that I made that slides over the one inch shaft and down at the bottom of the bracket there's a quarter 20 bolt there that uh, holds it to the bracket. Then over here I made a piece of uh, uh, aluminum bar stock, half inch, and there's also a, uh, a screw on the bottom that holds that in position. And then what I did was get a piece of half inch EMT conduit and used a couple hose clamps to clamp this on. I also had to make an internal bushing for this but so far that seems to work fine. If we go on up the handle here, this is a, a throttle handle off of your a regular weed whacker. And what I did up here, I made some adapter bushings that would uh, uh, size that from the uh, half inch conduit up to the one inch that it needed uh, to clamp this uh, throttle control mechanism on. And it's got a little button on this particular one that lets you go to a high idle. If you, if you pull your throttle down and hook that, it'll, it'll allow it to stay at a high idle. Also incorporated in here is a kill switch. And anytime you want to kill the motor for whatever reason, all you do is just press this little button like that and it'll kill your motor. This is our tilt mechanism that we're gonna use in this build. And I'm going to take it out of the mount so you can better see how it operates. Here's what we've got. This thing will rotate back and forth and this will control how deep your tiller arm goes into the water. So if you need to adjust this, just loosen this up, move these bolts or whatever, and you're all set. And this goes down through your transom mount plate and it got a little pin that will go here that will um, keep it from uh, popping out of the, the transom. Also, we have a bar at the top here that you can actually slide up and down the sh shaft to get the appropriate uh, balance point for your uh, trolling motor. Guess what the next video is going to be about? <laughs>